Hey, and welcome back to another Revit video. In this video, we're covering an update to Revit 2020.2.1. That's really exciting because there should be some great new updates, but no, there's not. There are actually no updates in 2020.2.1. And you might ask why. Well, because it's a hot fix. It's hot fixing a bug with 2020.2. That's lovely. So this is gonna be a pretty short video, unfortunately. <laughs> because there are new new features. There's nothing to cover except for what is this and do you want to update, do you not? Like, what do you need to know about 2020.2.1? Well, one, it's a hot fix, and what is that? It's, it's fixing a bug. So let's cover what that bug is. I'm actually on Autodesk website here that shows you the, the hot fix. You can go to this, I'll link it in the description below. This is to the hot fix itself, and I've got another link that will go to the actual problem and the bug itself that we'll cover in just a second. So as I scroll down, we can see some of the issues that were resolved had to do with families. So what was happening was as you upgrade to 2020.2, and again, this is random. Autodesk doesn't know why, I don't know why. I can't answer why necessarily, but you, families within work shared files might just randomly become corrupted and lose all the data within that family that's a bit of a problem. I will say it's not the end of the world if you have backups or if you've saved the family somewhere else or something, whatever, not a huge deal. But, you know, nine times out of 10, if you have a family that's built into your, that you've loaded into your project and it's corrupted and you can't use it, you can't use the data, then you're just kind of out of luck, which kind of sucks. That's too bad. And thankfully there's a hot fix to it. So what is the hot fix? The hot fix, well, it does just that. It, it doesn't fix the problem, of course, and unfortunately it doesn't. It only keeps the problem from happening. So the example being, if you have upgraded to 2020.2 and you have families that are corrupted and you're like, what the heck's going on? Well, even after you upgrade to 2020.2.1 and implement this hotfix, it will not fix your families. Now, I, that's somewhat to be expected. You know, how could they fix every family that's corrupted? I, I don't know. Well, clearly they can't. So what's the solution? Well, there's no solution. The only thing that this hotfix is doing is stopping this bug from corrupting your families in the future. Okay, that's that's great. And, and there's some more issues down here that say, you know, fix an issue which caused the licensing of add-ons to fail. And so all these things were kind of improved. So it, there are some improvements, but it's nothing you hopefully had to deal with. It's also hopefully nothing you really notice. This is kind of unfortunate. Um, within Dynamo, it may be no longer visible in your Manage tab after you implement this hotfix and this new update. Thankfully, there is a way to get it back. I, this did not happen to me, fortunately. It might happen to you, and I, again, I, I don't know why that would happen. But you know, there's there's not a lot more to cover here other than you know the bug, and I sure hope it didn't happen to you. It's, this is the last thing we want to see when it comes to a new update because it's, obviously this is not an update, it's a hot fix. I've got this link here also and I'll leave this in the description below which is the actual family corruption, like the full issue of this and how to prevent this from happening to you in the future. There's You can read this if it did happen to you. Uh, I'm not going to cover this because it, it didn't happen to me and I honestly don't know anyone who it has happened to. Apparently it's a big enough problem to where they needed to implement a hot fix itself. But, so what do I recommend? Well, <laughs> I recommend updating to 2020.2.1 as soon as you can if you're on 2020.2. And the reason I say that is because you would no longer have the possibility of having families corrupted. I will say if you're not yet to 2020.2, then I would just wait. I might even wait till 2020.3 or to even something more stable because 2020.2.1, that's fine. There's no problems. I would stick with that if you're there, but I would, I would avoid going to tr just sitting on 2020.2. Now before, if you are on 2020.2, I would say, of course, update to 2020.2.1 to get the hot fix. But after you do that, just so you're safe and you know you're out of the woods, I would do a file save as of your work shared model and you could save it over itself, but this would basically make a new central model. And the problem is that you have these central models that are in 2020.2 and that's where the, the problem with these families are occurring. 
So that's what I would do. Upgrade to 2020.2.1, resave your model as essential if you're working in a work shared file. Other than that, I unfortunately have nothing else to say about Revit 2020.2.1 because this should not have been an update. And unfortunately it is because they needed to implement the hotfix. But besides that, there's nothing else. If you stuck around this long, you're awesome. Of course, if you learned something, demolish that like button and change that phase of the subscribe button to existing. I sure hope to see you in the next video where we'll cover real Revit content and not something like this. We don't like seeing things like this, but I'd sure hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.